lost some of my allowance. Boo hoo hoo! I took it. <laughs> uh. Welcome back to Couples Quest. <laughs> Meldy's apparently getting psychotic with her uh, training. <laughs> uh, so yeah, in the meantime, we finally came up with the name for this show. I kept calling it Couples Play in the last two episodes, but since then, we got a cool. In I made a cool intro. We came up with a name. And I've come up with more RPGs that we're going to play in the future, so... Okay, Flinging time to the move wires on. around. <laughs> okay, which way were we supposed to be going Okay, anyway? uh, to, we're going left. We're going to okay. try and get out of Viridian City, or Viridian Forest. Anyway. Uh, so yeah, one of the things I noticed while I was editing the first two episodes is that I completely missed out on the perfect name for our Butterfree. We should have named it Mothra. Okay, probably the next one we'll we get we'll. Call well, no, it there's back. no more. Oh, Venomoth! If we get a Venomat, we'll name it Mothra. <sighs> Write that down. I'm writing it down. All right. Okay, okay let's see here. What's his best to better uh, against a Metapod? Uh, Gust. Gust. All right. Bonito. Holy crap! That's super effective. Yep. <laughs> Way too freaking easy! <laughs> okay, so, uh, yeah, head right, because I think there's some items that we missed. Another Caterpie? Seriously? Yep. Alright, Talon. Stupid bug, you go squish now. Yeah, I'll do this. There you go. Out of my way! <laughs> Ooh, bitch, get out, out the, the way. way. Get, get out, out the way, way. bitch, get, get out, out the way. way. <laughs> Ooh, bitch, get out the way. <laughs> We're on a roll today. <laughs> yeah, all right, head to the right. Uh, again, you want to use the D-pad. <laughs> oh, oh, no, actually, that's a, that was a shortcut. Okay, never mind, go to left. We, we were already back this way. God, I can't wait till we get the running shoes. <laughs> Makes the game so much faster. Oh, there's a trainer. Go fight him. He's just looking at the uh, trees. Did you know that Pokemon evolve? No, duh. <laughs> Kick his ass. This yeah, reminded done. me of a. This reminded me of a of a the Let's Play that my buddy uh, Remy does and uh, his buddy Mario uh, in vulgar display of gaming. Oh, he, look, uh, catcher Charlie, eh? Oh, they're all really? Bug, they're all bug catchers here. Just keep oh, hitting them with gusts. Jesus. These guys are too so, easy! So, my bu my buddies do a Let's Play channel, um, and I was talking to them the other night because I started watching them on a whim because I was bored at work, and I was like, I don't watch their old stuff. Really? So I was Arden watching, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch, uh, their Mario 3 playthrough, because it was one of their funny ones. Because at the beginning, Mario just, just starts going off, just like, fuck, fuck your games, fuck your Halos, fuck, uh, StarCraft and those Korean assholes. Hey! Fuck Capcom, Japanese assholes. Don't know how to make a good game anymore. <laughs> but as they were playing uh, yeah. Mario 3, and they're in the, he was telling the story about going to a local anime con, and they were bored, and they're like, "Oh, Mario 3's running, and no one's finished it. Let's sit down and finish this sucker." And then as they were playing, some kid walked up to him and was like, D -d "Did you know that you, you, if you fly up to the roof, you can get a work whistle?" And it's like, "No shit." And then they start going off. It's like, look, I was playing this game when you were a sperm in your daddy's nuts. <laughs> <laughs> oh damn it, that was funny, sweetheart. <laughs> that's why that that kind of gets me to this gener this new generation that's growing up. I remember seeing a, a couple weeks ago a Reddit post where people were like. I never knew this. If you held up an A at the, if you die in Mario Brothers, if you hold up an A at the start menu, you could start back at the same world you died on. I'm like, I've known this since I was seven. <clears throat> Fucking, oh my god. I same with like, I made a comment about uh, his uh, Spoonie on his uh, Twitter started going off about Final Fantasy 13 again, where you know everyone gives him the moniker. Well, Spoonie hates everything. Well, it kind of does, kind of doesn't. I think we can all agree that Final Fantasy XIII is like the worst piece of shit that the Final Fantasy franchise has ever put forth. Besides fourteen, and it's broken. Uh, but Pokemon evolve quickly. They're a lot of fun. Oh, really? Then how can I beat your butt? <laughs> <laughs> I 
But uh, okay, yeah. So it was like I was I was having this discussion. I said uh, Final Fantasy XIII only appeals to millennials and uh, cosplayers. Is that the story sucks, the mechanics are broken, it's one big long hallway until you get the Grand Pulse, and that's 20 hours in. I was like, I'm sorry, if I have to play a game for 20 hours, that's not fun to me. Can't catch, you can't catch a Pokemon that it belongs to tell someone else, huh? Nope. Yeah, can't thought so. Those Pokeballs only have wild ones. Okay. Yeah. Um, well, head that's... right, head right. Right? Yeah, I think there's some items down there. Right. Yeah, oh yeah, there's one. Ooh, yay! Yippee! Hey, you got a potion. Yippee ki <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> or, uh, as uh, Alan Rickman said, motherfucker. <laughs> what was it you said, Mr. McLean? Yippee ki Motherfucker. I never knew this. Did you know that he actually fell from that building? For real, yeah. Yeah, they had a giant crash mat down below. I, th I thought it was shitty green screen, but no. They uh, they dropped Alan Rickman 25 feet. That would never happen today. You Everything's filmed in front of fucking green screens. Yeah, but at least here's hey. a good sport to do it. Oh, sorry. Yeah, you're, you're getting distracted. You oh. need to keep playing. Okay. Catch him or not catch him? Well, we already have a wheel. Remember? He's going to grow up to be Waspinator. Oh, right, 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 right. Okay, see that Pokeball that's next to the HP? Yeah. That tells you that's a Pokemon you've already caught. Oh, okay. I never yeah. noticed that. <laughs> uh, yeah, hit, hit Gus. Okay. <clears throat> Actually, you probably, he's level 3, you probably could have killed him just with Tackle. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you want to... Yeah, no, I'm working on it. <laughs> no, you're not, you're sitting there. <laughs> this playthrough is going to take like 20, like, like way beyond 30 hours if you just thought of like, <laughs> Hey, wait up, what's the hurry? Why the rush? Stay here and fight me. Here we go again. Oh, really? Another freaking bug catcher? Yeah, there are all bug catchers in here. This is a bug area. Oh, fine. Except for the point three, or uh, except for the three percent chance of running into a Pikachu. Although I don't know if he's in green. Tackle. Uh, I would hit Gus. It's your strongest attack. And we'd get PlayStation Network. Yes, PlayStation Network. <laughs> it should be like <laughs> Talon is hurt by DDoS attack. <laughs> There you go. Oh. Oh God, I hope the S video doesn't crap all over us. Uh, I gotta go get a new S video for this like crazy way I have it to actually uh, capture and stream uh, standard definition uh, games. 108 bucks, jeez, your parents must be loaded. <laughs> Thank you for. <laughs> Thanks for the money, bitch. Thanks for the money. Okay, um, right. you want to, uh, heal your Pokemon, so... Yeah, okay, um, let's see, what button I have to press again? Okay, that one. All oh right. my god. It's... It. No, 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 you gotta go, uh, your, to your bag. Okay, uh, one second. Yeah. Antidote. Yeah, give him an antidote. Please. I don't uh, think he'll make it to the, uh, Poke Center. Skip, skip, skip. <laughs> Alright. Alright, you're good. Time to move Dang on. It. No. No. Yep. Alright. So, yeah, I guess in the time that we did our last recordings and now we're doing this one, Twitch Plays Pokemon is back. Oh my god, that guy looks like Roshi. <laughs> oh, hey there, little girl. <laughs> Have you noticed the skinny trees on the roadside? No. They can be cut down by a special Pokemon move, I heard. You might even say you can cut it. <laughs> many pick many pick pick many Pokemon live only in forests and caves. Pronunciation sucks. <laughs> I'm only eight, give me a break. You need to be persistent, look everywhere to get the uh, different kinds. <laughs> Alright, this is a girl voice, you go for it. Right, I think she wants to trade you something. Do you know the uh, evolution cancel technique? When a Pokemon is ev evolving. E evolving, you can stop the process. It's a technique for raising Pokemon the way they are. Okay, that's... Yeah, I guess you'd be... I think if you hit B, it cancels out. 
All right, so we're two. So in this bush is like the grinding bush because right now this is where Viridian City is, okay. or no, Pewter City. Sorry. <clears throat> Trader tips: All Pokemon that appear in battle, how briefly, earn XP points. So that's like a good idea for uh, streaming. So yeah. Um, Twitch there plays. Aren't, there aren't many serious Pokemon trainers here. They're all like bug catchers, you know? A hobby, just hobbyists. Peter's Gem Brock isn't like that. Not one bit. I mean, Kaiba? Oh, yeah, you want to heal your Pokemon. While that's happening, uh, so yeah, I'm, I've am i got uh, po uh, Twitch Plays Pokemon up I'm on my phone right now. So, it's the one year anniversary of Twitch Plays Pokemon. <clears throat> and I think also the one year anniversary that uh, Aaron and Danny uh, started yeah. their Pokemon Red playthrough. So we should be done in about two years. So just looking here, I think they're in the Slycom area? No, uh, stop, stop, stop talking to it. I'm trying to. But are you asleep? <laughs> No wonder I can't do anything. So, I'm pretty sure Twitch Plays Pokemon did the stupid thing where it threw away the, um... Jigglypuff thing. Pokemon get drowsy. Me too. And then they get all pissy and they, uh... uh Just stop. curious what is up here. We've already been here. Oh. Oh, God. Can we skip this? Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, it's blah, 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 blah. You fight against each other's Pokemon that you've uh, glitched with uh, rare candies. Alright, get out of here. Okay, I was just curious. Okay. Well, you've already been up there before. I yes, you have. Remember. Every Pokemon center is exactly the same. What? The rock is at Mount Moon? Huh? I'm on the phone. Get away. Scram. So, the, uh, from what I've seen here, they... Um, <laughs> They've thrown away their starter, obviously. Uh, and they're always trying to throw away their key items. Uh, they've got a Rhyhorn, an Onyx that's level 54, a, a Meowth, a Parasite, which is their main, I guess, it's level 67. Okay. Uh, Mar Marowak, uh, it's the evolved form of Cubone, and uh, Flareon. Mm -hmm. Wow, they actually had the patience to actually use a uh, Firestone. Okay, what are you doing? Uh, I was just uh, waiting for you to. Honey, you just okay. play. Like, right, don't fine. worry about me. Like, I had two Pikachu, so I figured I might as well trade one. Yeah. I think there's some that you can only trade. Hi, glad to meet you. That's unfriendly of you. How about saying hi back? So come on, tell me about yourself. I'd love to hear your profile. Tell me something good about yourself. What's your profile? Say, just say yes. What's your profile? I am a Pokemon friend. Ah, fine. I, I don't know what this is. Just hit, just go, okay. Oh, it's so you I too. You're fickle like, oh, fuck you, you little twat. All right. Fine. Be like that. Okay, so you've got uh, bring up your Pokemon, because I can't remember how high, um, uh, Blast, uh, Mercury is. Okay, better put him in front, level him up to at least 12. Yeah. Okay, so we gotta go do some grinding. Okay. Grind okay, away. so we gotta go down to that little gra uh, patch of grass and just grind away. Okay, let's look at your notebook of stuff you wanted to talk about. This is like, I think the per perfect time to do that. You have Star Wars slash Star Trek. Uh, it's because of the uh, Star Wars and Star Trek and seem to be uh, happening around that same time. Er, what I mean is, <coughs> oh, crap, wrong move. What do you mean? What do you mean happening at the same time? I don't understand. Uh, basically, it's the fact that. Oh, never mind. It's 
it's not really a big deal. I mean, we already discussed it ages ago, so I'll just uh. cross that out. <laughs> okay, now you have stupid weather and RPGs growing up. I don't want to talk about the stupid weather. Everyone knows that this is like the worst snow uh, any place has ever gotten. The snow we've in ages. Yeah. It's boring anyway. I'm tired of talking about the weather. Because that's like the number one thing working on call centers. It's like, just the one thing to kill time while you're looking up stuff. Ask people how the weather is. Like, oh, how's the weather? And I'm like, I don't fucking care. I just want to open up your account and get you going. I think you should be happy that I'm not wasting your time with idle conversation and I'm just trying to help you as fast as possible. Yeah, this place is full of uh, Pidgeys and Rattatats, so it doesn't even matter. Just keep hitting tackle. Alright. Oh my god. Oh, that was a crit. You might be able to beat Brock like this, I don't know, but uh, better be safe than sorry. You need to level up uh, Mercury a bit. Mm -hmm. Okay, I guess you can go RPGs growing up. What did you play? Uh, I played... Very little RPGs. I mean, I remember playing like Final Fantasy VIII, and just the demo, like pretty much. No, the demo is the uh, the final seat exam where you're running from that giant fucking spider. Pretty much. And I played the hell out of that. That's actually one of the games I have on docket for uh, for couples quests because uh, I really I really want to go back and play some Final Fantasies. I had played some other RPGs, but they were mostly, uh, third-party people. Like, uh, like what? I don't know, some of those demos, that, and the, some of those games that you get, like, a whole bunch of all in, on one card. Type, uh, one CD, wrong. Was all oh, they're all stuff. PC games. Okay, yeah. you never played a full-fledged one. No. Okay, so it's just all demos. I mean, besides Mass Effect and uh, playing other related ones, uh... <laughs> Dragon Age? Dragon Age. And... Yeah, but you've only gotten into those recently. So you didn't really grow up with RPGs. No, not like not like this type of uh, RPG store. Not, tur not turn-based? Not turn-based type thing. Okay. This is what I grew up on. Like, I, I grew up on Dragon Warrior and yeah. uh, Final Fantasy and stuff like that. And those was actually some of my still preferred styles of RPGs. Like... Mm -hmm. Like these new ones, like I, I can't stand first-person shooter FPS or FPS RPGs like Fallout and Oblivion and Skyrim. Like, can't I can't get into them. I'll get into Skyrim if I play it on Steam and then I can install the Macho Man mod. It turns all the <laughs> that's dragons. That's the only into. way you're gonna. That's have the only way I'll play it. Is if the I. Only uh, time and the only way you're gonna play it. Yeah, because of the Macho Man mod. So instead of hearing like, Ooh. like hearing like the dragon fire, it's like you hear, yeah, cause I'm wild, yeah, <laughs> yeah, but don't sleep, Jim. <laughs> Elizabeth, will you marry me? Even though okay, Kayfabe we're already married, and I won't let the boys near you. Yeah, hey, he's up. Mercury's up to level ten. Mm. Well. Okay. Withdrawal. Withdrawal. What's that do? I'm curious. He starts scratching his arm up and down. He's like, I just need one more hit, man. I just need one more hit. Uh, I guess we could talk about, too, about uh, some of the shows we're currently watching. Um, we started getting into The Flash. Like, my God, that show was so good. I'm curious of what this does, so I'm going to try it. Uh, I think it's like a status effect. Oh, yeah, your defense raises. Uh, go tackle. Yeah. Yep. And that's what I was thinking. I'm like, yeah. Just keep footballing him. Uh-oh. Yeah, get a potion in him. Yeah. There you go. Then he'll hit you probably for four. Oh, three. That's fine. Oh, Jesus. Pidgey's almost done, so... You want me to help with the grinding? Yeah, sure, if you'd like to. Yeah. We'll take turns. Yeah, this would be easier, I think. Uh, I mostly play, played strategy games like uh, Age of Mythology and uh, 
Age of Empires, I played those a lot. Um, those were pretty much the, the games I've completed. I even played StarCraft as well back in the day. I think day I got well. halfway through the campaign of StarCraft. Here's the thing with StarCraft. I love the Terran, or the, the Terran group. I don't like the Protoss or the Zerg. Like, I can't use those uh, teams at all. I always have to be Terran. That's probably why I, I think I like StarCraft 2 before the expansions. Like, I can actually just sit down and play them. Mm, I kind of like the first one better, honestly, in my opinion. Oh, yeah, I, I still like I was actually one. pretty good at all the races, to tell you the truth. Right, I didn't care much for the story of the second one. It was just, that's just my opinion, but when I was observing the uh, StarCraft 3 with uh, my friends, uh, Matt and Keeley, uh,. I just was kind of... What's the word someone trying to come up with? Uh, slightly disappointed. <laughs> I mean, sure, it looked awesome and everything, but I was just kind of like, really? Really? The same felt like Star Wars 3. <laughs> I was... I think... I mean, you know, that's, yeah. This is how we started relationship. Dude, we were big in the WoW when we first started dating. Yes. They and got me kinda, hooked. <laughs> and I kind of fell off of it, because, like, it, they just nerfed it too much, and it was just like, we, we want anyone to play. And it's like, you have 10 million people that are willing to play your style. Don't, don't you want to be happy with that? And then they introduced the panda thing, and they're just like, everyone was just like, oh, Missed fuck the this. Pandera. Yeah, fuck this noise. This race is stupid. And then they came up with that new one, uh, the Draenor one, or whatever it's called. Uh, it's and, like the Return of Draenor. <laughs> Wars of Dream. I don't know. They just it brought people back though. A lot of people started playing it again. Well. <clears throat> but uh, no. I I hate the fact too that you can pay them money and just be like, yeah, level me up to ninety or hundred or whatever the cap is. I'm just uh, like No no it's it, it's I up to ninety. I love grinding, that's the thing, but I've also liked the uh, the lore in it. Yeah, I, I mean, kind of missed the, all it, that. It makes stuff. like like what what would you say like if Nintendo was like, hey kids, you getting tired of grinding away at Pokemon? Well, for $20, we'll level every single Pokemon in your PC up to 99 and give them the best abilities. Like, that takes all the fun out of it. Yeah, I know. What happens in, like, getting yourself trained to actually use them properly instead of going in... Um... <coughs> going in, leveling your character up to a particular... to that level, and not, not being able to know how to use it. Yeah, exactly. It's just like, <clears throat> it's like as soon as like Ashley supposed like, oh, you pay us an extra thirty bucks, we'll give you all seven hundred Pokemon. And some people actually want to do play vanilla, uh, the first version of. Uh, I know some people that do. There's like private servers you can get into. They'll play exactly the way it was when we first started. Mm. Here's the thing. I came out, came into it right in between, like. Uh, the first and the third, I mean, not the third, not the first expansion, the first one, but the second and third expansion, I started playing uh, basically... L Lich King and... Yeah, uh, the Lich King expansion. Yeah. So, I actually, my main character is uh, Drenay, so I actually loved her like crazy, uh, the fact that uh, I was able to, I made her like look, almost look close to me, but not quite in uh, their own style type of thing. So she had pretty much some, almost the same kind of talents I actually have on the side here. But uh, it was kind of, it was fun for the time being. I mean, make, you know, role playing with the uh, uh, role playing. Uh, okay. I think 11 group should be, like I that. think 11 should be enough. We'll uh, try and tackle Brock here. <laughs> yeah, we both um, kind of had the leftovers of cold. So <laughs> that last cold really knocked me on my ass. I still got a heavy cough from it. Yeah, well, consider Dad got it back again. I mean, my father, <laughs> my for my poor dad. And the last time I talked to him on the phone, oh my God, right, he back sounded to back bad. To you? All right, so we want to head to the gym. Okay, go so going up. Yep, yeah, there it is, right there. To the left. Yep. Yeah. So the these are to all the the, these are all rock type Pokemon. So. Are, should be all right. I hope so. Well, just keep hitting them with bubble, and you'll be fine. Oh, great. Wow, stop right there, kid. All right. 
You're 10,000 light years from facing Brock. Here we go again. So it'll take me 10 years to get there? <laughs> at maximum warp? <laughs> and that's if we don't stop at every fucking planet? It's like, it looks like a Boy Scout! Oh, I'm short! <laughs> it's Liam. Liam. Oh okay. God. So just, just keep hitting them with bubbles and you'll be fine. Bubbles! Spray. Wow! <laughs> Bubbles, green bastard parts are known. <laughs> he comes over there, king of the carts, and what does he expect me to do? Say, go up to the EI place, go, hello there. I haven't been working 18 years. I steal shopping and carton and back to the store, so give me a fucking check. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. I haven't painted in the UI. EI, whatever the fuck they call it these days. <laughs> If bubble, if the actor actually does bubbles, hears this, I'm like, dear God, I wonder who can up oh, bubbles, bubbles. Yeah. I'm wondering if their movie came out yet. Swear net, because like the guys that like, if you guys are watching, you, most of you are probably getting into Trailer Park Boys because it's finally coming outside of Canada now, mm -hmm. and they're you know on Netflix and making new seasons on Netflix and things like that. They I actually made a movie called Swear Net where they play themselves. So it's not Ricky, Julian, and Bubbles. It's, uh... Oh God, forgive me, I can't remember their real names. <laughs> but they're, like, trying to get, like, quote-unquote, showcase the channel that they were on to put them back on. It's like, oh, yeah, okay, you can have another season of Trailer Park Boys. I'm like, awesome. It's like, but you can only say shit three times, you can only say fuck five times, and you, can, you can't you can even say cocksucker. And, like, Mike, Mike Smith, the man who plays uh, Bubbles, go, tries to go over the table to strangle the girl. And that led to them creating uh, wow, Swear Wow, look at all the cash I got. 200. Yeah. Yeah. There's an island where you can uh, rob rich people. Alright. Um, how, oh wait, how are you on health? Okay. okay. Go to Pokemon. Oh, yeah, well, I just want to see what you're on on health. Ah, you're fine. Go after Brock. Okay. Or Kaiba. It's funny. Brock sounds like Kaiba and James sounds like Pegasus. So, you're here. I'm Brock. My rock hard willpower is evident even by my Pokemon! My Pokemon are all rock hard, and I have true grit determination! That's right, my Pokemon are all the rock type! Flaha! <laughs> You're going to challenge me knowing that you'll lose? That's the trainer's honor that compels you to challenge me! Fine then, show me your best! Alright, if you say so. Let's look. get one thing straight, Yugi. You're no match for my blue eyes. <laughs> you don't know how long I've been waiting for this moment to mix Brock with Ka Kaiba. <laughs> Go, Hitsumi Giant! I mean, Geodude! Bubbles. Bubbles! Soap in your eye, bitch. Super effective. Wow. That was right, very like effective. A, like a ton of shit. One down. And, yeah. yep, one, one down, one to go. Really? Yep. And you leveled up. Oh! Okay, yeah. So, you're trying to use my water gun. Work your game. Alright, I'll let you take over. Yeah. Cause... Get out of your tail whip. Nobody <clears throat> likes you. Yeah, tail whip. And... Poof! <laughs> Mercury forgot tail whip. And learn water gun. Something useful. Yeah, this is what you're going to use to kill Onyx. Or the blue eyes. <laughs> no, don't change Pokemon. Now I sent out blue eyes white dragon! So, water gun, eh? You're missed. Obelisk! <laughs> you're what? Yugi with Obelisk. <laughs> I just realized that. Obelisk! Obliterate! Jeez, that was very effective. Yeah, you leveled up twice. Yeah, wow. you defeat Brock. I have I took gotten... you for granted, so I lost. As proof of your victory, I can find on you this: the official Pokemon Leader Boulder Badge. Yeah, I got the Boulder Badge. Nice. And uh, if this was Yu-Gi-Oh, you'd get a lo you'd get a locator card. Moving you into the Battle City Finals. Just having the Boulder Badge makes your Pokemon more powerful. It also enables the use of Move Flash outside of battle. 
Of course, a Pokemon must know the move Flash to use it. <laughs> Holy! 14 grand, yep. Nice! I'm rich, bitch! Wait, take this with you. Yeah, TM39 from Brock. But, uh, what is it? It's a, it's a te technical machine. Contains a technique for a Pokemon. Using a Pokemon teaches the move it contains in a Pokemon. A TM is good for only one use. So when you use one, pick the Pokemon carefully. Anyways, TM39 is Rock Tomb. It hurls boulders at the fold and lowers its speed. Now get out of my gym! That guy's not important. Of course, him being Brock, I should have done... <laughs> I should have had a little tiny guy walk off and just be like, Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Paul Heyman, and I am the advocate of the leader of the Pewter City Gym, the master of rock Pokemon, Brock Lesnar! My name, last name's not Lesnar. Fine. Brock! Yes, yes, it's $50 for a child's ticket. Would you like to come in? Is it worth it? I don't know. Uh, we'll check Thank this you. later. Come again. Thank right. you, come again. Uh, we're at time right now, so uh, yeah, uh, next time on Couples Quest, we venture out of Pewter City.